Hello there, people of the internet and beyond. I am Wolf Deity, and this is a small little mini episode. And oh my god, the rats! By the way, take your money. And I should probably show off um, the feature of these little rat holes. You can... What they said about putting bait out in front of them. The rats will come out. They'll eat the bait, and delicious. Hey, I got something real good. I'll sell it to you for real. What'll it be for you? So yes, you can actually buy all-purpose bait and hoi pears here. Which is actually not what I thought there was, but apparently, yeah, you can buy the very thing you were just selling them to them. I don't see why. But, um... I've already shown off the hoi pear, so it's not like that's useful. Um, I guess I'll buy some all-purpose bait. I think it's a bit cheaper than usual, yeah. It might be, yeah. I might be wrong, of course, but regardless. We've got three scoops of all-purpose bait, as you can see. And now, on to the next, um, forgotten thing. And I'm here. So, what you gotta do is you gotta grapple. Put your grappling hook out. This is a bit of a secret. You actually need the, um, Game Boy Advance to Game Boy Link cable to do this. What you need to do is get, get your, um, oh, I pressed the button accidentally. Alright, you need to get out your tingle tuner, turn on your Game Boy Advance with it connected to the GameCube, and would you like to call tingle? Yes. Now calling tingle. Uh, the tingle tuner is a, um, Game Boy functionality. That's actually, it's actually really cool. Uh, something I used to do with my cousins is, um, one player would be on the Tingle Tuner, one player would be playing a dungeon, and the person on the Tingle Tuner would be fucking up the person on the dungeon. Yes, in Dragon Roost Cavern, is he not? Yes, so you stand... Uh, you can actually see it on the Tingle Tuner as like a little question mark. So you position yourself, or you can actually move without it, so you can actually... No, I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna have this thing move. And you can actually go to A and you can check and then you press start. You have a bunch of like a list of different things you can use. But if you just press B, boom. You have just gotten Ba, 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 ba. You got the tingle. You got the dragon tingle statue. It bubbles over with warmth, and we'll be waiting for you on Tingle Island. Yes, uh, this game is actually the first time I've gotten the tingle statues, so that'll be fun. I'll uh, I'll meet you at the third thing we can get in this dungeon, and technically you don't have to get it in this dungeon. You only need to get it in this dungeon to 100% it. Um, but I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the dungeon and grind yes. for yeah. fuck. Yes, I'm gonna grind for fuck. Grind for fuck, please. Grind for fuck. And grind for, uh, what's it called? I do forget what it's called. Uh, joy Pendants. Yes, because we need 40 joy pendants by the end of the game. I don't know if it counts the first one we gave to her as a joy pendant. I'm just going to get a shitload of joy pendants. And uh, meet you at the technical beginning of the episode. Even though I've been recording for like 45 minutes. Yeah.
I'm gonna follow you through here. And you know what? I'm just gonna put this back. Put this stone back. So that we leave the dungeon in the order we uh, found it in. At least, at least it looks a bit more presentable. It looks proper this way, you know? Break the pot. Because, you know, we're a pot. We're pot breakers. We are, we are breakers of vases. And yeah, that's all for this kind of mini recording, rec like, sub-episode that went on for 27 fucking minutes. Bye. Hello there, people of the internet and beyond. I am Wolf Deity, and I shall eat your babies. But first, I hope you guys have had a wonderful um, Christmas holiday or Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever the crap it is you celebrate. Happy... Chris Mahana Kwan's Travaganza. Yes, there's no time to lose. You must depart once for the place where the next pearl sleeps. So if we go to the south. So basically, what we're gonna do is we gotta bring out our thing, gotta do the wind the wind's requiem, we gotta change the the flow of wind, I guess. Not the flow of time, but the flow of wind. And then just gotta go. Okay, that was kind of odd. The weird kind of half spins. Yes, I, I know. We need to... Yes, I agree. That is why... Yeah, I'm... Um, okay. Mm-hmm. Just... Get onto the boat. There we go. Gotta point ourselves south. That is not the right button. And I'm doing this terribly. Ah, uh, yes. And out into the open sea... So, yes, um, oh, cutscene. And the fishy, for some reason. Where did I get this sea chart? Because we just kind of had it. Oh, so yes. All right. What's going on? Because, yes, you'd paint t freaking wonderfully just tackling the person's page with a paintbrush in your mouth. There's... Alright. Right there. Well, then we need to spout, spout, sprout wings and fly. Alright. Alright, so if we see one of these guys just kind of leaping out of the water... We gotta give him bait. Give him, like, I don't know if it's fish bait or if it's just animal bait. And animal, can't speak today. Animal bait. Um, we gotta give it to them, and they will basically fill up the sea chart and, um, show us basically where we are and give us information on the island. So, yes. Alright, so yeah. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out the sea chart once I start doing something on the island. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Either that or when I 100% that island. I don't know. I don't know. Leave in the comments. What do you think you'd prefer? Um, me putting it on the thing every time I 100% an island? Or every time I start an island? Like this island next right now... I'm not gonna put a fucking thing to it because we can't even touch it. We can't even climb onto it. But yes, um, so I guess I'll meet you guys at the uh, at the next uh, island. About the island we're going to, the Forest Haven. Onward! And we have just found a submarine. So. Submarines in this game are kind of little mini, mini encounters, I suppose. And usually hold a pretty decent prize. So first off, we just gotta kill this guy, or you just fall into the water. That's always good. When people fall into the water and drown, I suppose. <laughs> uh. So yes, this is. Our first sub. God damn it, rat! Let me explain my shit! 
Fine, you're dead. And then now you're gonna be dead pretty soon. Fine, you're dead. And then you're... No. And then you're dead. There we go. I don't know why I wasn't talking there. But yes, you basically just gotta kill everything in this room. It's nothing too complicated or anything. Why won't you die? Are you dead now? Yes, you are. And here a chest appears. So, gotta roll over to the chest. And we got an empty bottle. Oh, excuse me. So yes, we now have an empty bottle, which is kind of wonderful because we have more empty bottles, which is useful. Ah, controls went all messed up. Bleh, real quick. Can't speak today. Also, we can jump into the thing. So it's something I always found enjoyable. The fact that you can just kind of jump in, don't have to press A or anything. No. And here we are to an outpost. Just immediately. Man, there's, a, there's some stuff. Oh, this one's got cannons, so we can't quite finish it yet, so I'll come back to that later, I suppose. And here we are. And my dog is barking. Yeah, I kind of see it. We're pretty actually, we're kind of close to it. I mean, it's not really at the horizon. The horizon's like further than it at this point. Would have made sense if you said that maybe an island ago. I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. Okay. It's a really fucking big tree. Okay. Feroz Pearl. Alright. Can do. And yes. So yeah, how was you guys' um... You guys is, I don't know if that's the right way to say it. Leave in the comments, how was your Christmas break? What the, oh god, we can't defend against that. I'm, I am 3.5 levels of dumb. Probably the best way to kill him is just throw the deck who's at that. But yeah, um, everybody leave in the comments kind of how your Christmas was. Maybe got something real cool for Christmas. I personally, I got, um, I got a phone, which makes me super happy. And I got a Hobbit poster, which again, makes me super freaking happy. Like, and it's like a huge Hobbit poster. Like, it's w like the type of Hobbit poster they would use to, like, at the theater. Be like, the posters that they put outside to be like, these are the movies that are coming soon or whatever. It's one of those types of posters. I don't know how my uncle got it, but... Regardless, it's an awesome poster. It's in like super good good, good condition. I have no idea where I'm gonna put it though, but ha. that tends to be a theme with a lot of stuff I get from my uncle. It's like this is so awesome. Where do I have to? Where could I put this? But yeah, it's like I got a um a couple years ago, you know, like a little RC um. Helicopter? Looks all count as RC? I think so, yeah. And it's really cool! There's, my house is too cluttered and small for that to really be useful, so... <laughs> but regardless, it's a really cool poster, and I'm super happy. And I got to see my family, which... I mean, I don't want to see my family often because I live really goddamn far. So I went on a little trip to Quebec and saw them, which was a lot of fun. So yeah, just kind of, I'm going to post in the comments how your Christmas was, what you did, if you went to see a movie, or what you got, what you gave. Um, I got everyone in my um, Savage Worlds group um, a set of dice. I actually haven't given one of the sets of dice yet, because I just haven't seen the guy. Yes. By the time this video is up, though, I will have hopefully seen him because I'm probably going to put this video up on Tuesday and I'm going to see him on Monday because school starts. 
Yeah, that crap. Ugh. Yes, here we are in the forest haven. It's a tree with a face and a very big nose. And whatever the crap that is. I don't even want to know. How would you react if something like those just kind of started growing on your face? I'd be scared shitless. For it. Ah, that didn't work. And there we go, you're dead. And there's all of these little jellies everywhere. I'm just gonna collect the jellies. Got a green jelly. I always seem to think that we see green jellies before the red jellies, but no, it's red jellies first. <laughs> I love how you I didn't know that, that could happen. All oh, that amuses me. God damn it, Jelly. Stand your ass up. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> and neither does Link. Just. What the fuck? Oh, that amuses me. It amuses me greatly. <laughs> Alright. Those really count as lips. I don't know. Yes, you're the Deku Tree. Yes, he's the boat that speaks. It's not a talking wood in this game. This is a tree that speaks. Is it a boat that speaks. I don't know. I don't know why. This never seemed weird to me as a kid. The tree that speaks. But the boat that speaks. That was fucking weird shit when I was a kid. I'm like, what the crap? This boat can talk. But the tree now. Nah, all, all, all trees can talk. It's normal. Alright. They're just hiding on his face. You know. On his unibrow. I never noticed that till now. Ugh. I am wolf. Yes. Okay. Little twig midgets, I guess. I don't know. Alright. Okay. Seems like a uh, reasonable premise. <laughs> that voice! My car! My car! Linder? Linder, okay. Their names always, like, intrigued me, I don't know. I remember Macar, I remembered Makar, I didn't know her name was, this one's name was Linder. Linder Dinder. Oh no! That's a terrible place to fall into, it's forbidden! Yeah? I have ears. Okay. All right. Try me. All right. Are you calling me fat, motherfucker? God damn it. It's just a treadmill. It's like, lose some weight, motherfucker. Oh, man. So, yes. 
He just shat out a glowing leaf. Because, you know, we couldn't have just taken any other leaf in him, in his freaking branches and branches and shit. No, it'd be that very specific leaf. No other leaf will do. Ever. Like... Ah. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. That their homes were... That makes sense. But yeah, we basically just jump into these and they kind of spit us out. And it's, it's, it's a bit odd. It's more than a little strange. But regardless. So wait, is every tree in here... Well, I'm dumb. We gotta cut some grass. I get some hearts. Or, no, okay. I'm just gonna go back in here. There we go here. Grab onto that. We just gotta. There we go. Aim ourselves to that. Again, fourth and back. Fourth! And up! And up! There we go. This is kind of repetitive, but yeah. It's pretty easy. And here we are. I love, like, the quadruple freaking backflips he does. It's always so weird to me. How can someone do that many backflips so quickly? But yes, we have the Deku Leaf! So yes, now we have a magic meter. Yes, let's just equip it real quick. Um, I kind of feel like the best course of action would be to jump into this. Is that rockets us upwards? There we go. Oh, we would not have landed in that if I hadn't done the sword thing. Oh, that makes me very happy of a camper. Let's talk to this guy. Is that a good, Mr. Schwartzman? Okay. But yes, we have to go to the Forbidden Woods. And we need to get our... Um, wind waker out because we need to change the wind because as you would think flying is very dependent on the wind direction And tornadoes apparently Pretty sure eh. Yeah, we need to change the wind direction real quick go that way. It's a minor change, but it does make a difference. So yes, now we just gotta, just gotta keep going. But yes, hitting the tornado is a good thing. The tornado will give us a kind of upward burst of air. There we go. We just gotta... Move the direction of the frickin' wind. Go. I always gotta wait for this freaking thing. It moves real slowly. One spin around. Two spin around. Oh shit, we gotta jump, we gotta... And go! Come on, come on, come on, land in it, land in it. There we go! Link, you have badassery level two. Negative two. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. That was awful. Oh, God. Oh, we gotta wait for this thing again. 
die this time. There we go, that's what I meant to do. Basically what you gotta do is you gotta hit Z or whatever the Deku Leaf is on and basically just pulses it out like so, except you need to die. Like so. You're dead now. How do you feel about being dead? Do you feel the deadness coursing through your veins? I hope you do. I wanna go in there. So yes, that is all for this episode, guys. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment. Do all that stuff or I shall eat your babies. Adios.